If you are planning to learn web development, you might have heard a lot of people asking the same question and that is how much HTML, CSS and JavaScript do I need to learn. Most of them says you must learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript fully in order to get a job while other says it's not necessary and you are confused. Well in this video we will cover exactly how much HTML, CSS and JavaScript you need to learn in order to create beautiful websites or secure a job as a web developer in a short period of time. So let's dive right in. First of all remember that in order to build a structure of a website from start to finish you need to have a decent HTML and CSS skills. However you don't need to be an expert in these markup languages. So starting off with HTML it is a straightforward markup language. It is basically used to create the structure of a website. Here you just need to remember some tags and their attributes like when to use an unordered list, when to use drop downs event handling attributes or how to structure tables etc. And with HTML the skeleton or the general structure of a website is created which looks too boring and unresponsive. So this is how much HTML every developer should know. To build a site you only need to use some common HTML tags such as headings that are from h1 to h6, link tags, image tag, unordered lists divs and spans. In addition to these tags there are some HTML5 semantic tags that are nothing but they are used in place of divs and they provide some meaning to divs such as header, nav, main, section, aside, article and footer tags. And you might also need table and drop down tags as well in some situations but these are the common tags that are necessary for creating the structure of a website. However the real problem arises once you start learning CSS because first of all it is quite lengthy and there are a lot of CSS properties you need to remember. Plus you can do pretty much any job with CSS when it comes to styling. With CSS you can transform your boring website into a cool looking site. Now for this you don't need to master CSS completely from start to finish especially if you are just starting out. So this is how much CSS you should know if you want to create a decent and professional looking website. So for CSS you just need to learn how to style text with color and font properties like font family, font size and font weight, how to style links with text decoration, changing dimensions and positions of elements using margin, width, padding and CSS position properties like absolute, relative, sticky and fixed and style backgrounds using background image and background color. CSS transitions and animations are also necessary to use nowadays because they add some nice effects in applications which makes it more attractive. Finally if you want to build incredible looking websites in no time, learn CSS Flexbox and CSS Grid. These will help you lay out elements professionally on the web page and you can create your layouts much faster. Now after learning CSS I highly recommend to check out some of the popular and widely used CSS frameworks like Bootstrap and Tailwind. Using a framework generally makes you code less and create beautiful looking websites in no time. Also with Tailwind or Bootstrap frameworks you don't need to create separate files for your CSS. You can write all your HTML and CSS in the same file. This saves a lot of time and removes the complicated stuff away. Especially as your app grows bigger. Also if you want to see which CSS framework you should learn, check out this video where I talked about each of these in detail. Anyways let's continue the video. Now moving forward we have JavaScript which is a front-end or client-side programming language. It is used to turn our beautiful looking website into a dynamic site that will not only look beautiful but functioning as well. With JavaScript we can listen to events, call an external API, interact with backend and much much more. So this is actually how much JavaScript every developer should know. Data types, variables, functions, classes, conditionals, loops, objects, arrays and its methods, how to call an API using fetch method, how to handle promises using async await or then and catch blocks, event handling, DOM manipulation 
and how to make a get and post request etc each topic might include sub topics and so on now after learning javascript i highly recommend to check out some of the most popular javascript frameworks like react angular and vue by using these front end frameworks you can create a website easily and efficiently these are all based on components and according to them every website is built up of different components and combining all components we get the entire application every component holds its own styling markup and functionality this is a very powerful way of creating websites so i hope you understand how much html css and javascript you should learn i hope you found this video helpful for more videos related to web development and programming make sure to subscribe subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon next to it last but not the least if you are interested in full stack roadmap check out this video